We're Mateo and Misha. In our last episode, we visited the hilltop town of Taormina, where we soaked in its gorgeous views and wandered around its winding streets. Today, we are jumping on the train and heading to the tiny town of Tindery. Wait, why are we on a train when we said we were doing the ultimate Italian road trip? Well, if you saw our Shuffaloo episode, you know that we're in the process of buying a car, but that's taking a bit of time. So for now, we're train hopping. And using the train in Italy can be a little confusing. So today, we're gonna show you how. When you get to the train station, you'll find a machine just like this one. The machine does have different languages you can choose, so it doesn't just have to be in Italian. And for this video, obviously, we'll be choosing English. Beware of pickpockets. In case of need, ask only Trenitalia staff for more information. You're gonna go to buy your ticket, and then you can search the train station. In this case, we're going to Tindery. So you go here. So you can either choose a one-way ticket or a round trip, as well as how many adults or children are on this trip. In this case, we'll do one for me, and so we can show you how to use the app as well. So today we want a one-way, and we want to click continue. So the next train is coming at 10.30. You'll notice that it says there is one change in between. That is because the train that we are taking does not stop at Tindery. We have to swap in a small town before that. You click your ordinary fare, It'll tell you how long you have to swap to the next train once we get to the station Patti St. Pierre. Continue. These are the two trains that we are going to have to take. And so it tells us the first one there and the second one there. You click forward. And so it tells you our train is at 10.30 and we'll be getting there at 11.20 with one change. And so you click purchase. Please note, remember to stamp your tickets before departure. So just because you purchased this ticket does not validate it. You have to get it stamped in the machine outside, which I'll show you later. Click continue. And you get to choose your method of payment. Either you choose cash or cards. In this case, we're going to use a card. Click cards. Is that your card? They do have the tap option here. Collect your ticket. And that's how it's done. Once you got your ticket out of the machine, you're going to have to validate it as this will not be accepted on the train without validation. It'll just show as not working. And so when you're at the train station, you'll find a machine just like this one. This is the machine that will validate your ticket for you. And so now we will go ahead and validate this ticket. As you can see by the sticker, it wants you to put it into the machine to the left. So you stick it in and you push it to the left. And just like that, it's validated. So your ticket is only valid for four hours from validation. After that, it will be canceled. Don't stick it into the validation machine too early. The ticket cannot be refunded or exchanged once you validated it. Now we're gonna show you how to book a ticket using the Trenitalia app. So you open up the app on your phone and you hit the search button. Then you put in your departure station and then you choose your arrival station. Then you select the date and time and how many passengers you need to book for. It will bring up the available train times as well as tell you how much it is. So select the one you want. To double check that you've selected the train you want, you expand the bar at the bottom and it will tell you what time the train is leaving, if there's any train changes and how much the total cost is. So once you have verified that, you click proceed. Now you enter your passenger details or if you've already inputted them into the app, you select the passengers traveling. Then you choose your method of payment, then it will process your online payment and confirm your tickets. Tickets on the app do not require validation. Once you've purchased it, you're ready to board. Trenitalia emails you a copy of your tickets and you can also find them under My Journeys in the Trenitalia app. When the conductor comes around, they will scan the QR code on your ticket in the app. We personally prefer to use the Train Italia app because it's very simple and it usually takes us like a minute to book our tickets. So if you have a phone and you have data on your phone, that's what we recommend you do. Also, coronavirus times, the less you can touch things like the machine, the better. But if not, buying a ticket at the train station is 100% pretty smooth and pretty easy.
So you'll find these boards all over the train station and they're broken up into different columns. The first column is the train number. The second column is the final destination of the train. Ora is the time the train departs. Ritardo is the next column and that is if the train is delayed, it will tell you by how many minutes the train is delayed. And then the final column is BIN, which is short for binario, which is the platform number. So that is the platform you have to be on to catch your train. Keep an eye on these boards because they obviously do change. Sometimes you think your train is leaving from platform one because that's what it said, but last minute they might change it to platform two. So just be sure to keep an eye on the boards for any updates or changes or seeing if the train is delayed. If the train station doesn't have a screen like the one I just showed you, then you will find this board with all the train times and destinations. Yellow is departures and white is arrivals. In this case, we're now our train is leaving at 10.32 and so if you look at the board, there it is right there. And it lists all the stops and what time they will be stopping at each stop. And bin is short for binario and it means platform. So that is the platform that you need to be on for your train. If you're on the wrong platform, your train is not going to show up. When you hear this bell ringing, don't worry, it's not an air raid warning. It is just the bell to tell you that there is a train coming. In order to go from one platform to the other, most train stations do have these underpasses that allow you to go from one side to another. The important thing is to pay attention to your train number and to note that the destination on the board is the final destination for the train. Your stop will be somewhere between your departure point and the destination on the board. The trains on the smaller stops only stop for about one or two minutes. So you make sure that you're ready and you jump on when it arrives. However, the conductor will be standing outside paying attention to who's getting on and off. So don't panic if you have to take a little bit of time to get on the train. And because the train stops for such a short time, be ready to jump off when you get to your stop. And right now our train is about 14 minutes delayed. And so we had a 15 minute layover. So that gives us one minute to run from this train and get on to the next one the app keeps us the most up to date with our trip. Here it's telling us what platform this current train will be arriving at and it also tells us what platform our next train is leaving from. A great thing about these trains too is that if you need to charge your phone or your devices, there's actually a port right here for it. And there's also a trash can right to the side. If you have a backpack or a bag or something, you have all of this overhead space. And if you don't have the app or you just want to keep an eye on the screens, it'll tell you what time you're going to be arriving at each station. As you can see, it's scrolling on the bottom part of the screen. Also, when you see the toilet sign and it's green, that means that the bathrooms are open and they're not occupied. If it's red, that means it is occupied. And this is the bathroom right here. And when the conductor comes around, just show them the QR code on your app or on your physical ticket. So we're pulling up to our first stop right now and we gotta run so we don't miss the next train. Luckily the underpass is right here, I'm pretty sure that's our train there. Gotta run! So now you just pay attention to the platform numbers. We need to go to platform 4. And that is our train.
If the doors aren't open, all you have to do is click the button and they'll open for you. In part two, we encounter some unexpected twists in Tindery, like getting picked up by the police and enduring a brutally steep hike. <laughs>